Hello everyone. Welcome to episode 9 of Intimacy Laws Tutorial and Education. I am Drupam, founder and CEO of Aculi Labs Private Limited, creator of Lifers, and author of the book Intimacy Laws for Men, Volume 1, The Birth of the Lugal. And in episode 9, in this episode, we are going to understand the whole notion of love. So far, we have understood respect, we have understood energy, we have understood emotions, feelings, we have understood what are the codes, laws and rules. What is a relationship? We have understood the whole concept of boundaries. We have understood how a relationship should be defined, how it should be taken forward. In this video, we are going to, and in this class, we are going to understand the whole concept of love. Again, in the modern time, everything has been completely diluted. As we have been discussing, if I cannot reach Egypt to see the pyramid, we will assume that any home nearby us which has a triangle on top of it, that home itself is a pyramid and we'll repeat. Pyramid is not what is there in Egypt. Pyramid is where you see a triangle. Pyramid is not what you see in Egypt, but pyramid is what you see when you see a triangle in front of you. Pyramid is not in Egypt. See, so in the modern world, a lot of people's brain have become very lazy brains. And so the problem is the lazy brains do not want to work harder for its pursuits. And therefore, whatever we think is relevant, we repeat that. You may call it a perspective, opinion, views, and you may add all sorts of such words and then you can justify that whatever you are understanding it is your choice of understanding it in this way if somebody says that hair is not important or baldness is a style statement or beard is a style statement so we we don't care about science we don't care about understanding the subject we don't really care about what we are saying because Anything that we believe, any stories that we have told to ourselves must be true. It's my choice whether it is true or not. I and mean, it is your choice. You can see the world in a different way. Unfortunately, the life doesn't work in that way. Unfortunately, we all speak a common language. And when we are speaking a common language, trying to understand the world and convey the world, you cannot convey a world without understanding the world by saying that it is what you believe, your views. You have to dig very deep into each subjects and try to explore those subjects, try to understand the meaning to as deep as possible. You cannot understand the meaning by 10 ways to find your life, 10 ways to find your love, 5 ways to keep your love to yourself, 3 best ways to motivate somebody to love you. No, life is not about 1 way, 2 way, 3 way, 10 ways. No, not at all. Life is about fundamentals. A life is hard. So today, we are going to understand what is love. And yes, if you see a pyramid or a triangle on the top of a house nearby you, that's not pyramid. Pyramid still lies in Egypt. And there is no view or opinion of yours that matters particularly to you, because 
if you create an opinion view without digging deeper into a subject understanding the subject trying to understand the world much better and still if you try to present yourself to the world it is your brain which is going to revolt around you not others understand this is an age of social media everybody tells that you should write something create something upgrade but you just cannot do that you have to understand the meaning because if you understand wrong meaning of the things those are going to come and hurt you in like the way respect is for your own brain the same way wrong meanings bad understanding my way or the highway ten way is going to hurt none but you and when that hurt comes because there is no roots there is nothing below the ground you're going to suffer so coming back to the topic of love let's first understand what is love love is a feeling an intense feeling what is a feeling a feeling is a state of chemistry and electrical signals in the body that brain can sense and measure and then release certain neurochemicals so all the organs are in all the cells are in certain states they have certain biochemical composition then there is an average biochemical composition of the body then there are charges various charges sodium potassium and body senses them sends the signal to the brain brain kind of creates an analytics and aggregation and then based on that it generates the neurochemical to for for each part of the brain to understand what feeling body is in so love is an intense feeling whenever we say intense it means the amount of neurochemicals that brain floods when it experiences love is more than any other time so love is an intense feeling which is a specific type of neurochemical composition of the brain one which doesn't happen in the normal time but why why is it that love is so intense why is it that it's a hormonal state that hardly gets repeated here is a key love is an intense fear of death followed by an intense relief of life let me repeat love is an intense fear of death followed by an intense fear of relief of life love is an intense fear of death immediately followed by intense feeling of relief by life so when do we have that intense feeling okay. once a child starts to come out during the birth that journey is an extraordinarily hard journey it's a tremendously hard journey the the embryo got developed into a watery environment there is water inside the placenta the, the it safer mother is eating it is getting the food there is darkness it is sleeping it is growing up organs are getting developed brain is getting developed and then it wants to come out there is a tunnel when it comes out 
there is a fear, extreme amount of fear. That is the reason it needs kind of an aggression at that moment. So its lungs are not yet opened and the, and the child is trying to come out of there. There is a fear of death because it is first time getting separated from water. It's trying to come through the channel, it's coming to take itself out. So there is a fear because it is being taken out of the water. And there is an extreme aggression, there is an extreme desire to cross the channel. And then when finally it crosses out, and the mother takes the child in her hand. The child gets that relief. Why? Because when it was in the womb, all the mother feelings was the initial feeling that the child had because when its brain was getting developed, it was still inside the womb. Brain requires, just like any computer, some initial data and those feelings were coming from the mother. So it understands the mother because it is, it is coupled with the mother, physiologically coupled with the mother, psychologically coupled with the mother. It is one and the same with the mother. And then when it comes out, the mother takes, it gets relief. That's love. That moment is the moment of love the only moment in life when the child feels a fear of death, extreme fear of death, because the water is gone, its safe environment is gone, and then an extreme aggression to just to survive, the fight of survival, and then it comes out, there is a relief, and then there is a feeling of the mother. So we can summarize love as intense fear of death followed by an extreme struggle of survival followed by the relief of life followed by the comfort of mother. Intense fear of death followed by extreme struggle for survival followed by relief of life followed by mother's love that's together mother's touch that's together is called love so love is a feeling which is not a single hormonal state when four different hormonal states appear one after the other in a quick succession in the short time then you experience love because this is the first emotion one realizes when is the first emotion a child experiences in this world and that's why brain always wants to experience that. It's so intense. It is for the first time it is experiencing light. It is experiencing things of you, its own outside the mother's body. It's, it's there embedded into the first memory block of the brain. So brain always wants to find that situation in life. Brain, brain wants to experience that again because this is its first experience. That's why when you see a girl suddenly, you look at her. When you are already alone, you feel depressed, you feel lonely, you are stuck in the life, you are not finding meaning in the life, you are in the darkness. Then suddenly you see a girl, she turns her face. The brain sees it. That's the tunnel. Brain says, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. 
you go for it. You go for her, not it. You go for her. You are afraid because the child was always afraid to come out of the tunnel. But you have to do that brain is telling go for her, go for her, that's the light, go for her, go for her because brain now wants you to come out of the darkness you are already in. So when you are suffering in your life, when you are not happy with your life, when you are not content with your life and when the life is meaningless and miserable and you suddenly see somebody. It connects and the brain says go for it, go for it, go for it. You go for her. There is a fear because at the time of the birth when the child was going towards the tunnel there was a fear, there was an adrenaline rush, there was an extreme rush to go for it. Your heartbeat is like the child, it's like 160, 170, it's going high. Go for her. It's an extreme amount of fear because it's that journey, there is an aggression, there is a fear, there is a courage, there is a fear, courage, fear. You know, you're going for her. If you cannot, then you are dead. So understand, there is a feeling of dead because if you cannot cross the channel, you may, you may feel dead. Then you go for her. And she, she smiles, looking at you. And then, touch her or she touches and you experience that emotion, that feeling is the first feeling that your brain had stored, the feeling of love. So love is a set of feeling state. First an extreme fear of death. It's almost like there is no water. Your body dries up and then you see a light. That light is this girl. And your brain says, go for it, go for it, go for it. Go for it. Body is rushing with that. But there is still a fear. All your brain is shut down, only me brain is working. Suffering. Sudden light. Courage. Going for her. Finally getting her. You experience love. If there is a problem. In the hormone wise, whenever your water is gone, your body is in the state of fear, there is a cortisol that produces, your body produces. Then whenever you see the light, because because you have to handle now the the fear situation, the water is gone, so your body drains up, you'll understand. Body starts drying up, the water starts getting vanished out. Body 70% water, so water reduces. You are in extreme stress situation, lonely, down, being betrayed by people. In that situation, your brain is trying to somehow take you out of the that situation and the brain experiences for a very long period of time you have been in that stress state this is the same condition that happens with a child when the child when when it's nine month of the pregnancy uh, the placenta water comes out and the child is grown up the space is cramped you feel the same way you feel struck in your life struck in a space you feel there is no coming out of that situation. There is nothing. There is no, there is no possibility of a change. And your brain identifies that situation with the first situation when you were inside the womb of the mother. And the brain decides, 
Okay, all right. So this is a darkness. The the body is drying up. This is time to take her out. So whom do you need? You need a mother. Look, at that moment you need a mother. Your brain looks out for a girl which eat finds a similarity with the mother. You look out for somebody. As a man, you look out for somebody. Your brain is looking out for somebody. All the girls, you're seeing various girls, but your brain is looking out for somebody with whom it finds certain similarities with your mother. Brain says, this is it. So brain, in that state of cortisol that has been prolonged for a very long period of time, brain generates a lot of dopamine hope. The brain says, this is it. You look at there. Brain is feeling motherly from that girl. Brain knows. It has seen the eyes. It has seen a lot of things. Your brain finds that out just in fraction of a second because we all communicate. Our heart is an electromagnetic machine. We have an electromagnetic field. We, we always radiate our energy to the external world. We, we radiate our, we, we are coupled with the entire universe through the quantum energy. And so whenever brain senses that energy, it understands this is similar to mother. This is it. This is the this is the time to take you out of that darkness. And when you remain in the sustained state of stress, your brain is always looking for that motherly love. You might have your mother. She's older now. She doesn't have as much of emotion. She is a dif different person than when she gave birth to you. So even though you might have a mother. Your mother is still alive, but she has not been able to take you out of that darkness because she is older, of course. Her hormonal profile has completely changed. Brain cannot correlate. So brain is looking for that, that energy, that profile that it had experienced when you were this child. So, once you see this girl, the brain says, yeah, go for it. And then you start seeing her in the dreams. Because brain locks that situation. Nothing doing. This is the mother. Go for it. Go for it. Go for her. Go for her. Go for her. It creates dreams. It tells you. Go for her. Nothing doing. No other work. Nothing. No busyness. Go for her. She is your mother. She is your mother. She is the girl. And that's why you feel like love is an intense emotion. Because your brain has find similarity with a girl who has radiated an energy which is similar to your mother in her youth when she gave birth to you. You go for her. You embrace her. You do anything that is required to get her. You have already read. Everything is fair in love and war. So your brain says, no consciousness. Don't worry about moralities. Everything is fine. Go for her. But you go for her. You get her. But then you stop feeling. You don't experience that feeling anymore. You marry her. But then you are not feeling that anymore. Why? Because once you are in love, the girl also start treating you like a small child. You start appearing like a small child. Very submissive. Very childish like. Very, very receptive. You know, it's almost like you if you want that love from your mother. And she embraces you as a child. 
irrespective of how you are at that moment for a few months your complete personality has been taken out by the brain brain says nothing doing you are a child experience love it's your experience in love but understand it. for brain it doesn't make a difference your brain is experiencing your mother to come out of the darkness that you have put it through the girl is has got her baby Nurture this much, but there is a problem. You are an adult and she is an adult. Your brain tricked you to take you out of the darkness that you are in. If you are happy, satisfied, you will never experience love because you are never seeking love. Because you are never experiencing the fear of death. You cannot fall in love in first sight. No. Movies, they don't understand science. They go wrong. A happy, successful person cannot experience love. Only a lonely, depressed, down, struck, suffering person. Because that Prolonged suffering is the early memory of suffering when the body has grown, the womb is not sufficient, cramped. It's similar to that situation. And so the brain finds, brain finds, if this is the situation, then wait. Because at that moment, the brain doesn't understand anything anymore because this everything is collapsed. The brain is not understanding why even in my presence for such a long period of time, you know, my body is feeling so cramped, so so depressed, so down. So the brain is looking for, is focusing, you know, is focusing to look for your mother in the entire human population. And that's the reason, once you have this girl, you'll see many of her behaviors and characters, something like your mother. You'll start correlating a lot of her things with your mother. But the Problem is, she's an adult and you are an adult. And in the early stage, in the early stage, when this relationship started, it's a mother-son relationship. For your brain, it doesn't matter. It, is, it has tricked you so that you could take it out of that situation. Your brain has tricked you to take it out of that situation and so you might have thought if you get this girl your life would be sorted your life would be good no your brain is not looking for your life partner your brain was looking for your mother and every time you going to sustain state of stress, being struck, not happening anything in life, your brain will be looking for your mother, not your own mother, but the energy that your mother had at the time of giving birth. So, if your mother was an abusive mother, your brain is going to find an abusive mother. If your mother was depressed, your brain is going to detect a depressed individual for you, depressed girl for you. Don't blame the girl. This your brain is trying to sense the similar energy. And only a depressed girl will have her energy similar to a mother, a depressed mother who is giving birth to you. Isn't it? It's a, it's a pattern matching. It's matching to photographs. So therefore, when you experience love, that is a trick of your brain. You know, movies are wrong. They're just, they're just pulling your money. 
it's a it's a struck situation and then you see that the brain is given brain has given you your mother but you'll grow up within six months all right within six months that fear that cortisol will subsidize and then you'll not be able to connect to that girl anymore you'll feel why am i not able to connect with this girl? why am i not able to connect with this girl anymore why am I not able to connect with this girl anymore? This girl appears so much in love. Why am I not able to connect with this girl anymore? And then you are going to get extremely angry because your brain has got love. It wants to again go back to child state. It doesn't want, it doesn't want to let you to go back into the stress. It doesn't want you to go back into the darkness state. And it feels the brain, brain feels that if it can somehow trick you to become child again and again and again and again and again, then you will recover. That's what your brain thinks. So, after six months, when you are not able to experience love anymore, you become extremely abusive. So, frustration, your brain frustrates you. You shock abuse you do anything just completely see the girl completely broken then you again give her love she becomes your mother you again become a child so easy and this process continues and because it's an intense feeling that you are addicted to. Your brain produces a lot of dopamine at that time. You can't come out of that. It's abuse, love. Abuse, love. Abuse, that is, you abuse her, she will cry. She will give comfort then she will become stable you will become childlike she will give you her chest but she's also growing the motherhood state ends after the five years so within five years that state is going to completely end and then she will not be able to feel child in you anymore because you're grown up so more love from her after five years and understand this. The reason that it says that uh, love just happens once is because it is very difficult for brain to keep on tricking you every time because even inside the brain there is a consciousness in our prefrontal cortex. In the prefrontal cortex the prefrontal cortex says, boss, nothing doing. You have done it in the past. Things have not come out right. You know, the guy is suffering. You don't do that. That's why people say, man, love. It's mother-son relationship. It's not an adult relationship. It's a psychological game that your brain played with you because you tortured your brain for a very long period of time. You choose to suffer, you choose to get struck, you chose to not enjoy your life, you choose to completely overlook the desires of your brain. So your brain treat you love as we know it is when the brain tricks you it has first revelation after six months up to six months you can do all the acting you would not even realize that you are acting after six months from six months to five years you will grow up but after that, 
pure psychologists completely developed around this dynamics of becoming child again. So you will go out and then you will come back and abuse. She will cry, she will break down, you will give her comfort. She will become stable, you will become child. This process ends after five years because within five years the mother has grown up. So the age of your love life is five years. After that, you can remain together for throughout the life, but there is no connection. And the reason sexual life is poor in love is because it's hard to have sex with the mother for a son. Right. Your brain doesn't activate your reproductive pathway. She is your mother. How you can fuck her? It's not adult relationship. It's your brain's manipulated you. Your brain tortured you, punished you for punishing it. So, when you touch her, you don't feel sexual because your brain is going to completely turn off that circuit. And that is the reason you go violent because that's a habit. Child becomes aggressive, mother is worried, child smiles, mother is happy. The way you abuse verbally, aggressively to her, to break her down, to tears, and then giving her the comfort. It's a drug for her. The same way the physical abuse starts because you can't have physical relationship with your mother. You have to really become a bad boy. In your brain, it's completely, you know, it's a fetish, it's a fantasy. You are not even doing sexual act with that girl. In the real world, everything is in your brain. That's why there is nothing called love story. It's a psychological manipulation of your brain to you. And then what happens is the girls, they go out, they make videos on narcissism. So of course it's narcissism. Love, because a child, when he's in the womb, is connected with mother. His early feelings are developed from the mother. He remains connected with the mother up to the age five. Thus, narcissism, mother and child are inseparable up to the age of five. And that's why love can be experienced only by narcissism. Love can be experienced only by narcissism and because at the time of a child birth the mother and child are psychophysiologically connected when the child is hungry mother understands that even if the child falls down mother understands that both are connected through the quantum energy through through a lot of other energies that you don't understand and at that moment, at the time of birth, it's a grandiose world because the child doesn't know anything. It has to go out and explore the world. That's a narcissism. And when the child was born, love was felt. So who can experience love? Only a narcissist can experience love. Mother and child are connected. Who is the narcissist? Both. Both. 
So therefore, without knowing this science, when you go out, watch YouTube videos or other stories, girls don't take responsibility. It's not their responsibility to understand the world. It's your duty to understand the world. Not a girl's duty. Okay? She is feeling driven. Her feelings will change. You are not feeling driven. You are intellect driven. So, understand, love is only experienced by a narcissist. And if you are together, your partner is also a narcissist. There is no, no psychology here. It's a plain science. At that age ends five years. Modification, end of relationship. For a girl, why the girl is then, she is adult, why she is adopting a son? <laughs> there is a whole lot of science behind this also. You know, when a girl grows up, she understands that something is lacking here. If you are a boy, the way you understand your mother, a girl doesn't. Because there are other principles that are in play. A mother doesn't get connected with a girl as much as a son does. So from a very childhood, a girl develops a sense of motherhood. That when I will become mother, I will give so much love to my child that I will prove my mother was strong. It is embedded. This is how the evolution works. You are not the first one. Ever since the human race started, this has been there. Mother bonds, they, they cannot, and if she has a brother, my God, she is mother from the very early age. Because she sees her mother in a different way, behaving with her brother, not her mother's fault. Her mother is not biased, it's just evolution. We'll discuss it some other day. It's, it's in gene. You know, it's, it's not about being biased. It's the way a girl feels. She feels a son. This is how the able because the, the sons are being killed in a vast number. You know, we'll come to those. Today's topic is love. So, from a very early childhood, it's a desire of this girl to become a mother and prove her mother wrong. She wants to give so much of love to her child that she can prove to herself my mother was wrong. So, when the girl comes into the relationship with you, she is your mother. If you just got in through some kind of relationship like that. Just go and ask your girl. Do you see me as your son? Do you, do, do you ever find me as a child like? She'll answer yes. But you, you cannot because you don't have that courage. You don't want it to end, but it will end. After six months, the end starts. After five years, the end is completed. So all those who goes to YouTube, creates videos on narcissism and empath, you know, they are just intellectually devoid. They are scientifically ignorant. They are illiterate. They are just as illiterate as, as it goes. They have not, they have not thought about anything. They read online articles and you know, they share their feelings and they, they thrive on your pain. They're not telling you the truth. Unfortunately, your girl is also a narcissist who gets into your life just to prove her mother wrong. She wants to give you love, become a better mother. She's a mother. She doesn't feel much for you sexually. You are a son. You don't feel anything sexually for her. <clears throat> so love 
whenever you talk about this, understand, love is a principle of narcissism. Adults cannot fall in love. Adults should not fall in love because by definition, narcissism has a shelf age of five years. After that, it ends. It's very hard to create that. And once you fall after that, it's extremely hard to go back to life. Life becomes very hard after that. It remains very, very hard for a very long period of time. Slough is starts when you get completely suffered in a situation. Depressed for both struck, struggling. Don't get into that situation in life. That situation will demand love. Love is just a brain's way of <clears throat> recovery. If you get into a situation and remain in that situation for a very long period of time, the brain would require somebody to come and take you out. You will be wasting five years of your life in mess. So you will be childlike. Your productivity will fall. The girl's life will be wasted because you still have a good life. But after 35, a girl, girl's hormone falls. Understand the fundamentals of life. Life is not a joke. Life is for living. It is not for loving. Let me repeat. Life is for living. It is not for loving. All those nonsense that you see, love. You should love humans. You should become motherly. Through all intellectually defied, scientifically defied brains, ignorant brains, they don't know what they are saying. When you become father, it becomes your responsibility to understand this. Teach your children. If you don't, your children will suffer. Don't become parents being ignorant. It is your duty. Alright, so that's all for this episode. Understood. Love helps. Five years. It is it. You found a mother, she found her son. As an adult, you are neither supposed to search for the mother. If you are a girl, you are not supposed to search for a son. Don't do this. But you will because it's in the brain. It's an evolutionary mechanism. So that's all from today. I hope, or I sincerely believe, not hope, that you are able to understand this topic of love and you will not make much mistakes in life. You will not reach a situation where you need love. Leave life. Love is painful and it's not to be experienced. It's not right. It's a, it's a, it's a very, very strong Feelings, you know, it's the word not to be used abundantly. You have to be very responsible, accountable when you are using that word love. It's very pure. Let it remain for the mother to experience her son for six, 
five to six years. This is why a girl's body, you know, a girl lives for this moment. Don't don't take that moment from her. She then cannot give it to her son. And her son will not go on to become a man. It's pure for a girl. This is something which is her dreams, desire. You know, don't take it away from her. It's, it's her. it's her biological need. You don't do that. Learn. Don't go to YouTube and, you know, just, just see those things which are emotionally comfortable for you. Don't do that. It's very important for you. Okay. So we come to an end of this episode. This has been a long episode. I believe that you will make note of this, understand this, go on for a walk, think about your life, a girl's life. It's not her work of thinking, it's your work. And if you want to recircuit the book, Intimacy Loss for Men, the Birth of Lugal is released in Amazon. You can buy it from the link in the description below. You can also pre-order the printed copy from us, which will be much affordable than the printed copy that is going to come in paperback that is going to come in Amazon. You can also check out the audio podcast if you want to just listen to the audio. Though I highly recommend you to, to watch the videos and as usual with somebody that you care for because two people can understand the uh, you know uh, classes, understand the concepts together better. If you like the video Please give a like, share it with others that you think would become benefited from understanding the fundamentals, understanding scientific principles of human dynamics. Subscribe to the channel and thank you so much. Please grab your copy of the book. Don't miss it. This is going to give you a lot back in your life. Thank you again from Rupam. See you in the next episode tomorrow. Bye.